Good morning, people. How are we doing? It is currently Friday, and I have to admit, it is quarter to three in the afternoon. Um, this morning, I have been doing admin work, I've been doing some editing, just stuff that you didn't need to see, because not much was actually happening. And I wanted to make it look really presentable, but I just couldn't. Um, so this is going to be the intro of my video. Uh, today, we are off to go and see my mates perform at the Coliseum, uh, and then maybe do some flower arranging. Flower arranging, yeah. It is with an A. Flower arranging. Uh, whilst they're singing, which would be pretty cool. And then later on, I might be going to see Bonnie and Clyde. Not quite sure yet. He asked for the tickets to be changed. They never got back to him. So he is going to find out at four o'clock this afternoon if we are going to see Bonnie and Clyde. If not, I might just go and see a show anyway, because it's been quite a while since I've seen a show. Um, that's a complete lie. I saw one like last week. I look so pale on this camera, but I just want you to appreciate how sunny and lovely and warm. I know you can't feel the warmth, but I hope you get it through me. Um, as I'm ginger, I probably won't stay outside for too long. That's about my sun for the day. <laughs> So it's David, Mum and I going to this flower arranging concert opening, I guess. Um, you can also win tickets to My Fair Lady, so it's a really cool thing that apparently they're going to do every other Friday or something, or one Friday a month, I think he said. Um, but I'm really excited to see it because I haven't seen the inside of the theatre. Apparently it's absolutely stunning. But I'm also having real problems with yesterday's vlog that you won't have seen by now. You will, yeah, you will have seen by now, hopefully, uh, if it doesn't get taken down. Uh, because apparently it was copyright, um, and I didn't realise that. I didn't realise that a gig was copyright for the songs. Even though they're live and they're different, apparently it's still copyright. So I'm in contact with their management, and hopefully we can get something sorted, because it's a really, really good gig that I'd love to show you guys. Mum is fully just drunk her coffee. Number one, she's got a straw in a hot coffee. You, what is going on? Why are you drinking with a straw from a hot coffee? You're an animal. That was so much fun to do on a Friday afternoon. If it ever happens again, I will let people know on my Instagram. It's like an hour long. You go there, you're offered a free glass of champagne, which is lovely. And then you just like watch people at the top of their game, absolutely smashing it. So like we just had Oscar and Rob, and apparently it changes every so often. Um, as I said before, I think they're doing it once a month maybe twice a month, um, but I'll let people know on my Instagram because 100% it is well worth going. My mate just texted me saying that Bonnie and Clyde tickets have been rescheduled, but it's okay. I am still off to go and see a show tonight. Not sure which one, I'm just gonna go and see a show. To be honest, it's probably gonna be Dear Evan Hansen. I would love to see something new, but there isn't actually that much in the West End that I haven't seen. So I'm going to have a look on Today Ticks, which if you don't know already, it's one of the best apps to use if you're booking tickets for a show, because you get discounts, there's lotteries, rush tickets, so many chances to get cheaper tickets. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a look on there and see what's on, and see if there's any availability for anything. So as you can probably tell, it looks like I've been crying, because I have. Um, I booked tickets to go and see Dear Evan Hansen, and one of my mates who was in the show, Jack, I just saw, he was great, and then I look on my Twitter, Jerry Evan Hansen's closing in October. 
I genuinely feel like crying. But I will be seeing it tonight, as I, as I said, I would. And it's on until October, so we've got like five months to see it as much as we possibly can. <sighs> don't, don't. I haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm literally in utter shock. David and I are off to see Darren Hansen. It's David's first ever time. But it's the night that it's closed. Like, not that it's closing, it's announcing that it's closing. My heart, I still can't get over it. I'm, de I'm devastated, truly devastated. But it's nice because it will be, it will go out with a bang because it will be the original cast and I think they'll have a lot of fun with it going into the final months. But I've got the tissues, I've, got, I've just bought the tissues. From a uh, from an off license, uh, so here they are. Uh, I'm going to need pretty much the whole pack, and I think you might too. So I'm going to be weeping for forever, Sammy. For forever, I like it. As you can clearly see, we are back in the booth. I have cried a lot tonight. It was, a, it was a mixture of the emotion of it closing and seeing the show for the first time in four and a half months, five months. Um, it all got a bit too much, so I didn't want to whip out my vlog camera because um, I was an absolute mess after that show, in a good way, in a good way. Um, but we've had a very, very fun day today, actually. We went to see the Friday Flowers which was something very unexpected, which I loved. And hopefully they do more of them because I will 100% go back and check it out. And then just hanging out with David and mum and Lizzie and just being surrounded by amazing people uh, today has been so lovely, uh, especially with the news of Dear Evan Hansen closing. That was a massive, like, I'm even tear tearing up now and I shouldn't do, um, but it was a massive shock to me. I didn't expect it at all, um, but from what I can hear from the cast, they're all very like happy with the decision because their contracts were ending anyway. So I think it's, for me, I think that cast is so special, it'd be hard to recreate it. So I'm really, really glad that they are all okay with it all because they were going to leave in October anyway that it's nice to have the same cast throughout. Um, but tomorrow, we are meeting up with some other TikTokers to go and play Crazy Golf, which will be very exciting. And then I think we're gonna go to Chinatown for some dinner, and then I've got a few drinks in the evening. Um, but tomorrow should be a, an exciting one. Um, thank you all for coming on these adventures, and I'll see you later.